y'all. It is July 12th and we are on our way to explore more of Austin. I feel like this will never end. There's just so many things to do here and... I think I've, I think I've done everything almost. Okay, I think you did chance. everything when I was away. I was away for like a week when I went to California and he um, had his brother and his brother's girlfriend come to visit. So they did so much stuff without me and I'm so sad. But... Um, I mean, like, yeah, I get it. There's, like, a couple spots, but we haven't even been to, like, 5% of, like, the restaurants you guys have recommended to us and, like, all the other stuff that we want to do. So, I mean, we've done, like, a good amount for just, you know, moving here. But today I'm in my cheetah print dress. Hopefully Ryan can get a clip of me, like, when I get to the restaurant. Oh, we're going to Loro. So I am very excited to try it. I don't even know what it is, honestly. Um, sushi, Gucci sushi. Is it sushi? And barbecue mixed. I don't know what's going to sushi tonight. I, I really thought it was like some Korean barbecue thing. But I guess we'll find out. Everyone, literally everyone has recommended this place to us, so. My We're going. Knows. Today I worked on a YouTube video, got that up for you guys, and then I started some freelance work with Zup, and that is the company I used to work for, um, and they just wanted me to put together some Instagram stories for them. I'm actually not finished with that. I have to finish it next week, but I'm doing that, so that's fun because I honestly miss the company and like working for them. It always got me in like my creativity mode because I used After Effects a lot with them. And so now like not having that position, I feel like I never use it. And it's sad because like I was just learning and it's so bad to stop like practicing on something that you're like beginning at. So I'm excited to like get back into After Effects and stuff like that. This morning I got an email from the couch place and we are getting our couch sooner than expected. We're getting on the 15th and we, I thought it was coming on the 27th. I don't know where I thought that. I think maybe they just like, say it's coming a little bit later than it is or I don't know but it's coming sooner and it's coming on a Monday which is the day I watch like all my shows like Bachelorette, The Hills, Grand Hotel so I'm excited for that. bad habit of eating really really fast you know it's a good habit you get out of there fast i know but i feel like we don't really enjoy you know like we're such foodies that we're just like stuff our face and we don't even talk while we eat you know i feel like normal people like talk while they eat or is that just me we are done eating and now it is photo shoot time favorite time so we stopped at where are we uh caffeine and leather Shop, yeah, he said he wanted to go there. I was like looking at it. I was like, oh, super cute. Oh, wait, there's like a white wall right here and it looks perfect. So we're going to go try to shoot here and hopefully this goes well and smooth and fast. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel because it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I run the miles. Hey, y'all, it is the next morning and we went out last night, so I kind of have like a little bit of like a headache, um, but I took some Tylenol. I should be good in a jiffy, but um, right now I am at Houndstooth Coffee. It is currently 9.38 a.m. And I am meeting up with um, a girl named Cicely. She has a YouTube channel and I will link it down below for you guys to check out. She lives in Austin, so I wanted to meet up because I've never really had like an influencer friend before. So I'm excited to like talk with her and kind of just like relate on that level, I guess. <laughs> So we are in Houndstooth Coffee right now. It is actually the cutest coffee shop probably that I've ever been to, that I know of. Um, but I'm with Cicely and... It's so bright right here. I know. <laughs> like a ghost. 
and it was so freaking cute. I got coffee. She told me to get a latte because she's a coffee connoisseur. It's connoisseur. Got, like, black coffee, basically. Yeah. So I title my level yet. You'll get there. I know. With me. <laughs> I know. I don't know if I want to be on that level. But <laughs> I'm like scared. It's like an expensive addiction, it's you know. So expensive. I spend like probably like. 10 to 15 bucks a coffee a week. Oh my god. Even like buying it. Like yeah. Home. Yeah. No, yeah. It it can fine. get expensive. At least I could have a worse addiction, you know? Like <laughs> It's true. I'm back home in my apartment. I had such a good time at the coffee shop. I feel like we related just on so many things because like we, you know, literally started YouTube around the same time in 2013. So like we've kind of like gone through like the phases of like YouTube and stuff. So it was really cool talking about YouTube with someone who has been doing it for like as long as I have. We took really, really cute pictures. I'm really pumped to edit them. Um, and hopefully we'll hang out again and take some cool pictures around Austin too because I think like South Congress has a lot of cute places and even downtown Austin, but the parking's like kind of a bitch there. So we're definitely gonna have to find some photo spots to, you know, get our pictures and our outfits and stuff. She said she wanted to learn more about cameras. So I was like, I got you girl. I'm like all about my camera stuff. So it's much later now. It is 6 p.m. And we are kind of shopping around. We went to Plato's Closet and I got one thing <laughs> um, and I'll insert that clip here right now we are going to Buffalo Exchange it's a thrift store here in Austin so hopefully they have some really cool stuff that we can find unfortunately we did not find anything in Buffalo Exchange it was a really funky place like it wasn't your normal Plato's closet but I feel like I could have like found something in there if I like really looked and like took my time but I was just kind of like browsing you know kind of figuring out the store I guess um but the Plato's closet I don't know if I said this already but it's kind of like expensive here like this romper that I got was like $16 and I feel like at the other one that I used to go to it'd be like 12 maybe like I don't know they're getting a little too cocky with their prices I mean I understand everyone has to make a profit but like I don't know I I could have I feel like I definitely could have bought this on like Poshmark for cheaper right now we are gonna go to HEB because I have some frozen rosé in the freezer waiting for me to make into frosé so I want to get like lemons I think lemons go in there I kind of want to get like simple what's it called simple sugar simple syrup. simple syrup to like make syrup. it a little bit sweeter because I have tried rosé before and I don't really love because it's not sweet. <laughs> so I need it to be a little bit sweeter and then like what else goes in rosé? You know? We put like raspberries. Oh yeah, we have raspberries and strawberries. Yeah, that's That'd be perfect. And so. Cool. I've been doing some extensive rosé research and um, apparently you're supposed to like freeze a whole bottle of rosé and then scrape it or like blend it and then add another bottle on top. So does that mean we have to buy another bottle of rosé? We'll just, we'll just keep it like one bottle this time, but we're doing some experimentation, so I'll update you guys later on how it goes. Just got home from HEB, and I'm gonna do a little haul because I have some beauty stuff that I picked up, and I'm kind of excited because, first of all, Ryan found me a coupon, so that was great, and these are like my necessities, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So the first product is the Olay Daily Facials. And I remember when this was like a thing that influencers were being sponsored by. So I decided to give it a try because I'm easily influenced, honestly, especially on Instagram. I will literally buy anything that somebody just tells me to buy. So I tried these and literally they're so amazing because it's not just makeup wipes. So it kind of like forces you to wash your face. These are actually dry wipes and then you get them wet and then they like lather up. On your face I don't know I just really really like this highly recommend I'll have it linked down below um, you could probably get them on Amazon and have them shipped right to your door the next thing that I got that I'm excited to try out is this duo quick set strip lash adhesive so my cousin Zara is like beautiful and she literally wears lashes I guess every day and I'm like okay how the heck are you so good at putting your lashes on she's like 15 so I'm like what the heck I want to learn from you she said that this is like her secret is the quick set. 
and I was like that makes a lot of sense so sometimes I don't wait as long as I need to so this is probably gonna help with that I guess there's not really that much more exciting things but those are the two exciting things I got nail polish remover and cotton balls because oh, I literally cannot find a good nail place around here and they all suck and so I I, like they're good on the first day and then like literally the next day they like all chip and just like look really bad Like you can really tell I feel like like two days into your manicure if it was like actually good or not Especially because the first day like obviously your nails look like shit before so like anything With like a full coat of nail polish is gonna look better than what you had does that make sense? So I feel like the second and third day you just get a little bit more critical of like what they did wrong um but yeah, so I think I'm just gonna take off my gel nail polish because it's already ripping off and it's like been, I don't even know. I think I got them done on Monday, maybe, I'm not sure. But I think I'm gonna take them off myself because I don't wanna go back in there and pay and I don't know. We'll, we'll try taking them off myself. I haven't taken off gel in a really long time. Um, but I think I'm just gonna start painting my nails just regular color. I know it's gonna chip still but i don't know i feel like i just need to stop getting my nails done because it gets really expensive and that adds up okay we're gonna go to rainy street and just have like a chill night and i want to make my froze i actually bought lemon juice instead of lemons because i thought this could be like a little bit easier we'll see like i said i'm experimenting this is actually the froze this is like the only container i had to put it in so it's like literally frozen so I am trying to make my own frosé. I was inspired by the Kendra Scott Cafe. Their frosé is really, really freaking good. So I'm going to make my own. I'm first starting off with making my own simple syrup because I didn't know where to find it in the grocery store. So I'm just gonna do it over the stove really quick. And I looked up like a super simple recipe on Pinterest. This light's weird. Um, so hopefully that turns out well. I literally don't know how to make cocktails, but I've told like so many people this in the past week, but I have always wanted to like be a bartender and like very interested in like mixology, even though I don't know anything about it, but I want to know more about it. So hopefully this is like my first step. We'll see. So I bought the cheapest rosé I could find at the grocery store and I froze it overnight and right now it's like a she consistency. You can see oh okay <laughs> so I feel really dumb because I made this simple sugar and didn't realize that I don't have that much time so I can't really like cool it down before using so I don't know what I'm gonna do experiments y'all so it is pretty much done we are coming to the end of it and I actually added the simple syrup and it was hot so it kind of melted it a little bit down but it's honestly good because then it's like a little bit slushy and not too many like big chunks of ice um so i'm just going to use this thing because we don't really have a ladle scoop it into here that's such a pretty color i'm so excited about this i'm gonna fill it up high so i can add the garnishes Cause you know me, you gotta have like that Instagrammable cocktail. So now for the garnishes, I'm gonna do strawberries and raspberries. I wish I had like something like leafy or something. Okay. You know what? I don't know. It's two strawberries and one raspberry. Wait, what? Should I should have done one raspberry? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there we go. That's not cute. Perfect. Taste test. Ryan! <laughs> it's good. Honestly, I feel like it could be way sweeter, but that's just me. What do you think? Not What's bad. your review? Not bad. So I'm filming the whole thing for y'all on Instagram stories, but I think I'm almost done. I'm going to do another Instagram story. You can see the behind okay. the scenes. Yeah, Ryan's going to film it. I've been doing selfie style this whole time, but might as well do a little cooking show, you know? Okay, here we go. You are you should hurry? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take some pics of it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be good, but John got a froze.
So I was just complaining about how my nails are like really just chipped everywhere. But thank God this thumb, the Instagram thumb is okay. So that's why I haven't fully taken it off just yet, but oh boy, is it coming. Okay, I don't know. I feel like this could be way cuter. It needs something green. Green? Yeah, like a green bean. Wait, I need like a cuter background. I don't know what it can be cute. Damn it. So I just called an Uber. We're gonna go to Rainy Street and we're gonna have like a casual night. Um, I'm feeling good, but I also wanna feel really great tomorrow, so casual night it is.